Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. I am Supertees. Welcome to the video. And in this video, I am going to be going over the easiest way to level your alts in Legion. Now, as most of us have found out after playing Legion, is that it's a lot of work. It takes a lot of time to get anywhere. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you the most efficient, less time-consuming way to level basically a lot of characters at the same time. And you might be surprised, but this is actually how we're going to be leveling our alts here in Legion. It's going to be the World of Warcraft companion app for your phone. So you're definitely going to need to make sure that you have a phone to download this on. If you don't, you can use your PC, but of course you won't be able to do it when you're at work, on a break maybe, or traveling. Um, if you have the phone app, it's much more efficient, but you can do it with just your PC. But let's get started. Let's get into the game. I'll show you what I'm talking about. So the first step to leveling your alts in Legion is you're going to need to most efficiently have a main. You could do this with a new character, but you're going to run out of order hall resources. That's a very important currency that you're going to need to, to use this method. Um, and in patch 7.1, they introduced a Blood of Sargeras vendor, which I'm standing next to. Her name is Ilnea Bloodthorn. She's outside the blacksmith building in the new Dalaran. So you can see I've collected 286 Blood of Sargeras. That was just passively collected. I'm not a profession player, so I've just saved those up. And now because I've saved those up, I can use them here on the profession vendor, and I can buy order hall resources that I can send to my alts. This is pretty important. I mean, you could use this to buy your second legendary on your alt if you wanted to use it for that as well. But for the purposes of the video, we're going to be using these resources to level our alternate characters. So I'll just buy a couple of these to show you as an example. You don't really need to buy a lot. Uh, you just need a little bit for each of your characters. And then we're going to go to our mailbox. We're going to send some of these resources to my Paladin alt. Okay. So we're going to send him about 400 resources. He might need about 3,000, 4,000. really just depends on how many Blood of Sargeras you have. Either way, we're going to send our Paladin some Order Hall resources. Then we're going to jump on our Paladin, who's already level 103. He's an Orgrimmar, so it might take me a bit of time here. Might even just do it on my Druid. I'm basically leveling two characters right now at the same time uh, using the companion app. And I'm just going to log on to my second Druid here, who is also an Orgmar, but has a teleport to the class order hall. Uh, so before you can get to this point where you're using the mission table or you're using the companion app on your phone, uh, you're definitely going to need to do a little bit of questing. You're going to need at least your artifact weapon and part of your class campaign done. That way you actually have followers to use on your mission table. And if you don't know what I'm talking about at all, I'm going to show you in a, in a couple minutes here. Um, it's really impossible for you to not know, I, really, I think, unless you're a new player. Um, but you are going to have to do a little bit of questing, maybe two hours, get a level 102. Uh, most efficient way I would suggest is to have four followers, which isn't very far into the class campaign. Four followers would be the most efficient. That's going to level your character the fastest. You can do it with two. Uh, but it obviously will be slower. The missions average about two hours to four hours long each, so you got to check your phone every two to four hours uh, to keep up on those missions. So I've already sent order hall resources on my druid. I've already unlocked four of my followers, and now you're just going to interact with your mission table. Look, I've already got some missions done. Let's let's calculate the experience here. So I'm at 493,000 experience at the bottom. When I turn in this quest, which is an XP, this quest, which is XP, I go from 493,000 to 524,000. That's about 40,000-ish, I'm not a mathematician, experience, uh, 550,000. I got 60,000 experience there. It takes me about 670k to level on a two to four hour ratio. And I can just continue send them, sending my followers on these missions. You're most likely not going to get bonus rolls at this point, but either way, this is actually inefficient. You may want to save your followers and use some, some other methods. That way, when more experience missions pop up here, you can send those first um, and just save your followers for those missions. And then you're going to be getting your experience. And I can log on to my other character and show you as well. Uh, onto my Paladin. And this is basically how you're going to be leveling. And you can do it on your phone as well. I got my phone here. I could even do my do it on my phone on my paladin. Uh, let's uh, let's log out. Let's 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 do it on my paladin on my phone. Okay, so I'm logging into my paladin. You probably can't see that because of the graphics quality. Oh, I've already. Okay, so you can't log in your phone when you're logged into the game. Let's uh, let's jump to a different scene here. 
will log into my Paladin on my phone instead. And I'll show you that you can do it on there as well. So if I'm leaving the house to go do something, uh, turn my dad on, use Wi-Fi somewhere, and I can get experience on my phone. So with just, with just two missions I got roughly 60 or 70,000 experience in two hours. Um, obviously that's not the fastest method, but I didn't have to really do anything. So that's pretty good, right? So we're looking at my Paladin, which you can't see at all. That's unfortunate. Either way, there's going to be a chest on the screen. You can open it for experience. And my Paladin gained roughly 60,000 experience with me just clicking a button on my phone. So that that is pretty efficient, I think, overall. So what did we learn in this video? We learned about the Blood of Sargeras vendor. If you're playing Legion at all and you haven't spent any of those, you probably have quite a few. You can use them for lots of different things. You can use them for your legendary, your double legendary upgrade in your order hall, or you can send them to your alternate characters to use them to level with the mission table in game. Or if you have the companion app on your phone, which I suggest, you can use the companion app on your phone to level up basically for free. If you spend roughly two hours on all your characters, let's say you have every class at 100. You spend two hours on each class to get a level 102, get your four followers. You can basically sit on your phone and camp the companion app. That's my alarm man. Camp your companion app and level up through your phone with those alts. And it might take you, I would, I would say roughly, if you're doing it constantly, maybe a week to two weeks, and you will have all of your level 100s at level 110 without really doing anything. So I definitely suggest that you try this method out. If you're someone like me that doesn't want to go through the leveling process, the drudgerish way, the same way on all of your characters, because I like having every class, definitely suggest this method. So I hope that it was helpful to you. Super Tease, signing off.